with the fantasy playoffs coming, some people still need a quarterback. And as of this recording, we're not entirely sure if he's going to start. But if Jalen Hurts gets into the starting role for the Philadelphia Eagles, he is a running quarterback and we must take notice. You see, Taysom Hill over the last three weeks is the number three fantasy quarterback, largely because of his running ability. And Jalen Hurts, why not? He looked very impressive as a runner in limited action against the Packers. So definitely consider him as a waiver wire ad in the hopes he's starting in the fantasy playoffs. And at running back. So in week 12, Cam Akers parlayed one long run and a, a red zone touchdown into a lion's share of the Rams running back workload last week, and it paid off. He's now had two good fantasy games in a row. He's available in about half of leagues, and he definitely looks to be on the rise as a player who could come in and make a serious impact down the stretcher. And at wide receiver, Kiki Kute of the Houston Texans. He went off with eight catches for 141 yards on nine targets. Now, he does have a tough schedule in the fantasy playoffs. However, he has a great quarterback. Look, he was on Bill O'Brien's apparent list of players to be banished because we hadn't seen much of him. But now with O'Brien gone, we see Kute move into a position of prominence in the passing attack. And Brandon Cooks is really the one guy they've got, and Chad Hansen's working in. But Kute should continue to be very busy and productive down the stretch. And finally, if you need a tight end, Tyler Eifert is healthy. And that's the big thing. Now, he's averaged five targets over his last seven games. And he scored at least 8.8 .8 PPR points in two straight and in three of his last five games. He hasn't really had many zero point performances. He has been somebody who's gotten you points each week. So if you are in that wasteland at tight end and you need help, you definitely might throw a dart at Tyler Eifert.